Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to bring uh, Lego models from LVD into Blender or other 3D programs, but I'll be using Blender because that's the program I use. So, uh, if you don't have LVD already, you can get it here, um, but if you don't have LVD, you don't need LVD, you could just start off with Bricklinks Studio. Um, this is similar, it's a little different, and maybe a little harder to understand than LVD. LVD is very basic, very easy to understand, very easy to make models in. So if you want LVD, then I'll provide the uh, download link in the description. Um, but the other program you'll need if you already have LVD and you don't want to switch, uh, you'll need this program as well. It's a, it's, not, it's a relatively small program, but you'll need it in order to export a Collada file um, this program can export um, .dae files, which you can bring into Blender and many other 3D programs. You can uh, upload it to um, Sketchfab and other websites like that. So, go ahead and open up LDD. I have a model <coughs> already built, and so it will be very quick. Okay, so here's here's the model. Um, we won't be dealing with Lego people for now. We'll just be dealing with these two cars. So uh, make a model, save it, make sure it's in a place you can easily find it, and go ahead and open up Studio 2.0. <coughs> it's very simple to import Lego models into Bricklink Studio. Um, in the older programs like LDCAD, um, uh, those programs, it, when you imported a LDD file into it, it usually would not get the parts right. It couldn't find many of the parts. So here are the two racers, and looks like it imported all the pieces correctly. So we'll go ahead and export this, export as a Collada. Uh, make sure this is in the place you can easily find it. Alright, you can go ahead and close that program. Do not need to save. You may want to save. But I'll just go ahead and open up Blender. <coughs> Alright, so we'll just clear the scene. Make sure we're in the right render engine. Uh, go ahead and import a Collada file. Go ahead and find that um, model. And I was racer. The larger the model, the slower Blender gets because there's a lot of parenting going on and other things. Uh, like you can see all these lines that are leading to this one dot in the center. These are all parented to a shape in the middle. So if I were to move this, let's see if I can find it, you can see both models completely move. And so that slows down Blender a bit. If we go ahead and go to materials, you'll see that they're both completely white. So this is why importing huge models is a little bit of a hassle. Um, it takes a while to set up every material correctly. So I'll just go ahead and zoom through this process. I'll put it on time lapse so I'll see you at the end of it. Also, go into edit mode or even into sculpt mode, and you can add little um, dents, that sort of stuff, to really make it look realistic. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you. And yeah, thanks.